All right, so when we started the project, you must have observed that we have a API folder as well inside pages, which looks something like this. Now, what does that mean? Why is it different? Let's just discuss that in this video. So this API folder is special in the sense that the files you create, the TypeScript or JavaScript files you create in this folder should not return, should not export a React component. What do I mean by that? Let's say, let's see. So if I have a, let's say a file named as random number.ts, right? What I have to do is just export default function and here it should not be a React component because for React components, we have pages, right? But for the files inside API folder, this is basically a REST API endpoint, which you can use to return um, responses like JSON response, for example. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get two parameters right here. The first one is going to be next API request type and the second one is going to be next API response type. Response, right? So we can get those types from our next package. And uh, if you're familiar with express, you know what these request and response are. Next.js sort of also follows a similar pattern. But the thing is you have to export a single function from a single file. And this, this endpoint right here is automatically available on you know for us at least it is http localhost uh, 3000 slash api slash random number right so this is for us if you're running on a different port that's a different story for you so if i go ahead and save this file you're gonna see nothing really happens because i think we don't have the server running so that's my bad but anyway if we refresh this you're gonna see that it keeps on loading now the reason it keeps on loading is because we are not really returning any response at all from this function, right? So let's just do us do this page a favor and say rest.json, which is going to return a JSON response. I'm just gonna say, you know, status okay. And if we take a look now, refresh this, you can see we get a nice little status okay response from us. This is something which we cannot do with pages, right? If you try to, you know, there's just not any res or request or res here. We cannot really do res.return res.json. Even if you try to do that, I'm just showing you that this won't work because inside pages, the Next.js actually, you know, expects you to return a component, not just any API call. So this won't work inside pages but this would work brilliantly when you are inside the API folder. So when you say rest or JSON, again, this would look familiar to express guys. It could return a JSON response to you automatically by just taking care of the content type and the status code. Status code would be 200 in this case. So this should not be a problem. So once we have that in place, um, I think this is a pretty solid intro to the api and uh, what we can do is just go ahead and instead of status okay i can say number is math dot random times 10 and this would give us a number between um zero to nine if i just float it down that is right so now whenever i refresh you're gonna see that we get a random number every time um, one, three, five, eight, stuff like that. So this is a random API, which is just returning us a random number inside of a JSON response. And yeah, that's, that's how you're going to create a very simple API with Next.js. So it could have a lot of uses. For example, if you are using JWT authentication in Next.js, you can use an API endpoint. You can deploy these individual functions as Lambda functions as well. So they can upscale and downscale independently right so this is also one important benefit we can have you can use the lambda functions for oath login as well for example sign in with google sign in with facebook apple stuff like that so there are a lot of good use cases uh, i use these um, on code dam as well um, 
for the oath login especially so yeah that's all for this video i'm gonna see you pretty soon in the next one we are we are gonna be using this in a much more sort of organized way in some sort of application so that's all for here and i'm gonna see you pretty soon in the next video